Okay, let's uh, take a look at finding the sample standard deviation um, for a set of data uh, using um, Google Sheets. So I'm going to input some data in. So we've got 2, 8, 11, 17, 25. And sample standard deviation. This is uh, the symbol S. And I'm going to type equals. Now sometimes you can start typing it and you see it. See as I start typing what I think uh, the standard deviation should be, nothing's popping up. Okay, now it pops up. <laughs> Calculate standard deviation based on a sample. So that is a sample standard deviation. But is it a sample standard deviation or is it population standard deviation? Well, it says sample, so I know that. You may find it easier in some of these to come over to your function over here and scroll down with your mouse wheel, go to statistical, and over here you're going to see standard deviation, but you're specifically going to see standard deviation.p and you see standard deviation.s. The standard deviation.s is your sample standard deviation, the standard deviation.p is your population standard deviation. So it's a little bit easier to see over here. Um, and you'll see that uh, the standard deviation here, we're going to compare that to this one. But if I choose this, now I can type in the range A1 to A5, or again, you can click over here with your left mouse button and click uh, in A1, hold down, and drag down to A5. And you see it put A1 colon A5 there. And now if I press enter, I get 8.79. Let's try the other one. If I just start typing, that standard deviation we originally had, A1 to A5, press enter, gives the same value. You're wondering, well, why do they have two different functions? Um, the standard deviation here was oftentimes its original one, and then at some point in time they figured uh, they needed to really make it real clear for people. And this is not uncommon. You see this in other um, packages where it has like an S for sample and P for population. But anyway, that's how you find the uh, sample standard deviation.